Three things you should be looking for in a classical text when you're analyzing it or deconstructing uh, the text. What you need to look for is how would the audience at the time have responded? You know, would Sophocles' audience in the, uh, in the amphitheater, would they have reacted differently to a modern audience? When we project our own values, you know, 2,000 years later, you know, customs, uh, social values have changed over time. So it's really important to think about the different context between then and now. Second thing that I would say, when thinking about a classic, classical text, also think about the translation as well, because these texts were written in a different language. So it's really important to understand that what you're reading is in translation. So the translator has added their own interpretation to it. So there's another layer that you need to be aware of. And thirdly, I would say that because these texts are so old, it's often the case that everything that has been written about them kind of has been written. So it can feel a bit daunting to, you know, have to come up with your own interpretation, but it is still possible. And I think what's also good about that is you can really, there's like a wealth of knowledge that you can tap into and you can look at a wide range of debates and ideas and come up with what you think is the most appropriate perspective of the text. I would highly recommend, you know, reading classical texts. I think it's a great way to uh, engage with English and literature. And as I said before, you know, they're still relevant. They've stood the test of time. That's why we're still reading them today.